Hi, today I'm reviewing the Avene Intense Protect SPF 50. And really quick, I just want to say, I purchased all these products with my own money. I'll never waste your time with sponsored ads or videos. So if you want to help support the channel, check out notebsbeauty.com, check my Patreon community, or click on the links below. Okay, so this is a new sunscreen from Avene that I was able to pick up and smuggle in, but don't tell who was the FDA that. I don't know. Don't tell them that. So. I was really excited to try this because it contains a new filter, which has been discussed a lot and really only present. I think Avene uh, owns their filter, this filter. So I was very excited to try it out. So they say adapted to the most vulnerable skin or exposed to intense sunlight conditions. Intense Protect SPF 50 is an ultra water resistant fluid for face and body and suitable for the whole family and probably better for the body than the face. Although it's not... It's greasy, but okay, let's get there. So packaging, my first criteria, no issues with the packaging, although I love the orange. It's just so freaking easy to find. I don't know. I guess I have too much stuff. It's out of control. I can't even close half the drawers in my bathroom anymore. I'm embarrassed, but okay. I admitted it. Everyone knows that I can't close the drawers in the bathroom. Although I can close cameraman's drawer. I fit all of his stuff in there because he has no retail space in the bathroom for himself. Okay. In terms of my uh, second criteria, which is alcohol. There's no denatured types of alcohol in this. It's also fragrance-free, which does make it nice for suitable for sensitive skin types. The manufacturing location for this one is France, so no issues with that. So for the SPF, it's SPF 50. Uh which is great for all days, days you're at the beach, very sunny days. Uh, yeah, so great for every day. In terms of the UVA protection with this one, it has the UVA seal based on the filters used in that seal. I believe this has very good uh, UVA protection, probably better than the majority of other sunscreens on the market. So let's talk about the filters in that new filter that they used. Okay, so we've got, for UVA protection, we've got Uvenol A+. It's a great UVA reabsorber. Uh, very, uh, very elegant, nice, easy to use. No issues with that. Very good for UVA protection. Uh, in terms of UVB protection, we've got Uvenol T150, which is very photostable. Uh, probably the best, most photostable UVB, UVB filter out there. Uh, then for UVA, UVB protection, we've got Triazorb, which is the new filter. It's a pale yellow sunscreen powder. It is reef-friendly. Um, it's the first organic filter with the unique ability to absorb and reflect the harmful portion of the solar spectrum, which includes UVB, short UVA, and long UVA rays, as well as high-energy visible blue light. It's also non-toxic for several marine species. Um, and they're currently researching other species that it's friendly for. Um, then we've got one more UVA UVB combo, which is Tinsorb S, very photostable filter, does the whole spectrum of rays. Um, it is very stable, hardly deteriorates at all, and it also helps stabilize other sunscreen uh, ingredients. So um, I was very excited to try this new filter out. This whole sunscreen, they say, is uh, reef friendly. So that was their main goal when they set out to make this, is make something that's friendly for reefs, but also friendly for the user. So it does a pretty good job for all of that. Um, okay, in terms of the white cast, so it's got a pale yellow shade to it, which uh, it's pretty yellow. Um, so when it smooths into skin... It hardly has any white cast at all. The more it absorbs, uh, it really tends to uh, not be super noticeable. Although if you have a deeper skin tone, perhaps it might be a bit more noticeable. But for me, I really, once it smoothed in and absorbed in my skin, I didn't notice any white cast. It was pretty transparent. I guess the thing I had the bigger issue with was the texture of it and how shiny it is. I guess a lot of sunscreens are just shiny. But this one was more shiny and a bit greasier than a lot of other ones I found and it really doesn't dry down it kind of stays greasy and I can set it with a powder and within a couple hours it'll be greasy again um, the powder helped a bit but it just once that powder absorbed it was greasy again so then two more hours later it's greasy again 
Um, and my skin's pretty dry, so I cannot fathom people with very oily skin, their experience with it. It's not very fun to use on your face. Certainly not anything that after I tested this, I'm like, I'm happy to be done with it. And that sucks because I, I'm excited about the new filter. It's an impressive formula. It's very fragrance uh, free, but the texture of it is the biggest downfall. It's just so friggin' greasy and sticky. Yeah. Uh, ease of use, so it's easy to apply, no issues with pilling. Uh, I didn't have any issues with eye sensitivity with this one, which was nice. Um, it's just greasy, again. So, I don't know. I don't mind looking greasy at nighttime when I put on my Midnight Blue Calming Cream and that one's greasy. I have no issues with it, but I just don't want to leave the house and look and feel shiny all day. I just, even on a day where I just want to run errands, I just don't like looking in the mirror and seeing total shine. I can get with some of it. My skin's super dry, so it looks a little bit shiny. That means it's hydrated, and yay, I love that. But when it's this greasy, I just, I don't know. So, um, then we get to antioxidants and beneficial ingredients. Nothing very exciting. We've got vitamin E, which is an antioxidant and hydrating ingredient. I don't know if we even needed that in this product because it's so darn greasy. So, nothing exciting there. In terms of acneogenic ingredients, we've got a long list. This is not friendly for acne prone skin at all. Uh, so we've got sterile alcohol, glycerol stearate, red 33, sorbent and isosterate, and vitamin E. So if you have acne prone skin, do not even touch the bottle. Or maybe you can use it on your body. No issues with that, but on your face, it's just not very fun. Uh, in terms of animal testing, Naveen is not cruelty free. Performance, so this definitely does a great job preventing my skin from getting any kind of redness, no tanning, no freckling, no nothing. It does a great job, it protects it from everything. Uh, it's nice that it can be used on the face and the body, um, but it just looks greasy. And normally it doesn't bother me that much, but this one's just so freaking shiny all day long, I can't even stand it. I just, um, and then uh, reapplication of it is not the most fun either because you just look more shiny um so personally i'll probably finish this up using it on my body however i can only fathom how sticky my whole body will feel using it and greasy it'll feel so um yeah it's not a very good day-to-day -day sunscreen i guess perhaps if i was going to had to pick one sunscreen that I couldn't reapply for a day I'm going to sit in the scorching sun it might be it but on a day-to-day -day basis even on an occasional basis it's just not fun it's just so freaking shiny I don't know I'm bummed I really wanted to love this one but da 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 disappointment that's uh skincare in a nutshell you know what you're going to be disappointed you're going to find things you love and you're also going to be disappointed you know what you're probably going to find more disappointing things than things you love but that's the game and i'm addicted to it so anyway with a 15 being a perfect score i give this one 11 i did i mean it's a good sunscreen if you can get past that freaking shininess maybe in the middle of winter i'm going to try it again when my skin is dry and uh see but it's still freaking shiny so it's so shiny i didn't even want to put it on before making this video because i don't want to look like a total grease ball i mean i'm okay looking kind of greasy but not really that greasy so anyway i'm sad dun dun dun, dun. can you play like the little the sad thing and wheel of fortune I spin the wheel and they go bankrupt maybe that's a different thing i don't know whatever okay it's a good sunscreen it's just dis so greasy okay anyway thank you guys so much uh, interested if you guys have tried this one yet and what your thoughts are. If you didn't find it greasy, let me know what you did to make it not look greasy. So, anyway, maybe you can do it like Gwyneth Paltrow and just apply as a highlighter. Don't do it. I'm just joking. Okay, thank you guys so much. I will see you more later.